Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Bravely Default 2. Oh yeah, we do have this stuff. Um, the game was in sleep mode uh, because I am finished the uh, other game on the Switch that I was recording, so uh, this game doesn't need to be closed anymore. Okay, so let's just go ahead and check on this just so we don't have to deal with these notifications going across the top of the screen. Constantly. Stop exploring. There we go. Got some treasure. Uh, magical defense bun. Honestly, most of what I want is just JP. That's good. That's what that's what the doctor ordered. And HP booster bun. All right. Oh wait, I forgot to say start exploring. Yeah, I, th I think since these are in the game, I'm not really going to stop myself from using them. Um, they'd definitely be really helpful if you were on the hard difficulty, which... You know what? You know what? Let's put ourselves on hard. Changes have been applied. Scarger changes? No. Uh, let's go ahead. If I'm going to be using these, let's just go ahead and put the game on hard. I, I have been feeling like the game is a little easy thus far. Um, so, yeah. Let's just say screw it and go ahead and put the game on hard. Why not? Um, so, yeah. Now, the question is, what do we want to do now? If I'm, if I'm going to be using these things, this way I can use these without feeling bad about it. Because I'm on the hard difficulty, so... Uh, at least it makes a bit more sense. So, some extra JP... You two are pretty much... Oh, wait, no. Elvis still has a lot to go on Freelancer. Okay, never mind. Okay, increase max HP. You need that the most, Elvis. Uh, magical defense. Adele, sure. I mean, I... Magical defense is just one of those things I'm like, I never really know who exactly to use it on. I kind of just use it on whoever. But everybody needs magic defense, because usually when a magic spell goes off, it's like an AoE thing. So, yeah. Yeah, now we're on the hard difficulty, so we'll, we'll see how that switches things up. You guys are running from me, so I'm not going to fight you. I'm probably going to get my ass beat a lot more now, which is not ideal. But, I mean, hey, that's what people are here for, right? So let's just go. I wasn't sure how hard the hard difficulty was actually going to be, but normal just seems a bit too easy, especially if I want to use the stat boosting items that I basically get for free. So I'm just more interested in uh, actually doing this now. Okay, you guys are running from me, cool. You're not though, you're a big boy. So what the hell even are you? You look like a, like, Resident Evil boss. Looks like luck's in our side. Hello? Yeah, you definitely look like a Resident Evil boss. Uh, let's put you down the two. So... You're using... What now? You're using a... A glaive, that's right. So, what are you guys weak to? Oh yeah, and do you have miscellany? Uh... No, I have you on Martial Arts and Heroics. So, you're not on Miscellany. Oh god, significantly lower damage because you're not dual wielding now. Does that be unfortunate? Okay, so you go ahead and examine... Oh, uh, actually, that might also be because I upped the difficulty as well. That might be why that's happening. Um... Uh, nah, you know what? Don't don't cast magic. So let's examine you. I still wanted the brave though. Whoops. Okay, let's cross cut some of these fools. And what is that thing called? A Daidara Bachi. Must be some kind of Japanese folklore monster that I am not familiar with. Wow, those misses. Oh no, we all have Contagion? Wasn't that what it was? 
Lower magic defense. Okay, that's useful, I guess. Uh, he has lower magic defense, so just cast a bunch of thunders on his ass. Shove a lightning bolt up his ass. Come and get it. Not enough. Oh god, that hurt. Okay, we need to be a bit more careful here. Yeah, let's up that battle speed, why don't we? Ow. I do not like that MP damage you're giving me right now. Okay, thank you, Aster. Adele learns Inner Alchemy, which is... how you heal yourself. Which is good. Okay, here's another one of the treasure chests. Mithril Sword. God, we're not looking healthy. This is, uh, rough, but... Hey, higher difficulty's fun. And I don't feel as bad about cheesing things when it's a higher difficulty like this. So... Bye? Okay, I really thought I was swinging close enough to him, but... Apparently not. Okay, you defaulted. Okay, you're not doing a lot of damage unless I do a heroic cut, so... We just need to heroic cut with you a bunch. Okay, you do more damage to them. Which is nice. I wonder if that thing... Was that thing undead? I didn't think about that. It is undead. Oh, still don't think I should bother. Let's just lightning you. I don't think it's going to do enough damage to actually kill you, but Seth also has a turn coming up. Yeah, this will kill. Assuming you hit... Hardly worth the bother. Hardly worth the bother. Okay. This is good. This is good. This is good. We're pulling it off, we are. Alright, I'm still missing one treasure chest somewhere. Still missing one in some place. Okay, you guys still want to fight. Interesting. Enemies brave. Ow. Ow. Can you not? Um, what all are you guys weak to? Uh, I might want to use some of these. Let's pop you with one of the. You know, you know what? Let's just use two stones. How about that? There we go. Because you guys are annoying as hell to kill otherwise. And guess what? If I'm gonna use items on somebody, it's gonna be these guys. Because, yeah, they're obnoxious to kill. Adele learned Bare Knuckle Brawler. I think that's the thing that makes it so if you're using fists, you do more damage, which is what I wanted on you anyway. Boost users and equipment's physical attack by 80% and aim by 30% when both hands are empty. That is what I want. So now if we go to equipment and hit optimize, it's probably going to take your glaive off. So let's look at your stats. Optimize. Yeah. Okay. See, it's like, it's like, yeah, no, you don't want, you don't want any of that stuff. So let's see what your maximum attack is now. So yeah, now you do more damage than most people, and you have very, very good aim, which is fantastic. So you're never gonna miss. You're always gonna hit the max amount of times. Cool. That's what I want. That's what we wanted from our monk, and we got it now. Go away. I wanted to get the back attack on you. Eh. Here we go. <laughs> Just gonna poke him in the butt. All right, so let's see how, how well we can do now let's let's get some cross cuts yeah that's definitely much better damage I like that quite a bit hmm. yeah just thunder him again I guess hopefully we can get to a save point pretty quickly uh, and get a tent because with the tent going I'll be able to take care of this stuff pretty easily Go ahead and get rid of this Terra element. 
Gloria doing pretty good damage. Ooh, lower defense. Perfect. Now Seth should be able to finish him off. There we are. That was a piece of cake. Woo! I like what I'm seeing here. Elvis learned JP up. Ooh, and we got an Earth Mallet. I likey. Alright, so everybody has JP up now. Um except for Elvis, which we just put on. So there we go. So now wait. And Glo oh, Gloria has JP up too. Whoops. Okay, I was supposed to switch Gloria off of Freelancer as well now. So let's go ahead and switch you off. Mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch you off. We'll, we'll worry about getting JP up and up and up later. But you we're keeping. I want to do it for Gloria. So let's go ahead and set you to a white mage. So you can start learning some of these skills. Set as main job. I love her little outfit. Oh man, and the black the black tights. The black tights are a good touch. Black tights are fantastic. Okay, and you're overloaded. So probably means let's see, what you like spears? And bows and stabs. Well, I'll just give you your bow back, but that makes you overweight. Ah. Uh, I was hoping the pilgrim's robe would be good. I mean, that almost makes you good. Let's just get rid of the clothespin. Is there anything we can put on? Feather mantle. You can put the glasses on or the star pendant. Oh no, you can't put the star pendant on. I would like to have the star pendant on you though. Extra restorative power. Um, yeah, I just really need to get- oh yeah, we can take the headband off you now too, but we- yeah, let's just take the headband off and put on the star pendant. Yeah. Because, uh, we don't need the headband on you anymore because you're not really going to be a mostly physical attacker now. Let's see what your attack is. I mean, you're still about the same as Seth, which is funny. But, uh, so yeah, you can still contribute damage-wise, but that's not what I'm going to be having you focus on, obviously. So, I love your little hat. Your hat's amazing. Every decent group has a, uh, oh yeah, I can also switch Elvis back to a Black Mage. So, that is what I want to do, right? What is Asper attack? Source the amount of NP based on damage inflicted with the attack command. I mean, that's pretty good, but... Yeah, let's just go ahead and put you back to Black Mage. For now. I think I'm good with the tier 1 spells for now, but for boss fights it might be good to, have a, to be able to throw a fire or something in there. So there we go, now we got all different classes except for... Seth, which we'll switch Seth to a Vanguard at some point. Believe me. Party's feeling brave. Come and get it. Okay, so crosscut on you. Now let's just spam crosscut here. God, your accuracy sucks, Seth. It's really bad, actually. I need to do something about this. Um, I'm gonna need you to just throw some shit at them. Uh, shuriken? Okay, that's the sword one. So let's use that. Very well. Okay, and you... If you could kill the Terra element. Okay, yeah, you do just enough damage to be able to pull that off. Oh god, we don't have... Okay, just whack it a bunch, I guess. Oh god, you do no damage. Even though it's vulnerable to staves. Ow. Okay, that was seven damage. Yes, keep hitting Seth. Okay, never mind. Don't hit Seth with gravity, though. That I do not want. I would appreciate it if you did not hit Seth with gravity. That's like his kryptonite. <laughs> his kryptonite. Oh my god. Okay. You're defaulting. Ow. We're gonna die, aren't we? At least Seth is. Because I went a bit too ham. Nope, stand ground. No big deal. Stand ground OP. Murder, please. I 
Oh my god. Job level up. Oh my god, where's that save point? Where is the save point? I require the save point. Although that was my mistake as well, because like I said, I got a bit overzealous with just spamming attack on those guys. There was that as well. Oh my god. Can you elemental assholes just go away? Watch out, guys. Okay, we should at least be able to take care of you guys, I think. As long as it's not one of the big dudes, I think we're good. For the most part. Punch it good. Okay. Yeah, we can just whack you a bunch until you die. No, I didn't brave with you. Whoops. I meant to brave. There we go. Die? Not quite. Okay, but Aster finished them all for us. There we go. Elvis learned Fyra. That'll be useful for the boss fight. It'd be even more dandy if the boss was actually weak to fire. But something tells me a boss that lives in the desert is not going to be weak to fire. Finally. Uh, let's not save yet. Let's use a tent. <laughs> Because boy, do I need to use a tent. Boy, do I need to use a tent. And now we can save. Good. And I'm still missing a treasure chest, mind you. Is that treasure chest down here? Maybe? No? Okay, cool. Yeah, it is. Nasty surprise. Great. What you got for me? Stonera. Wow, don't like that. Assholes. Okay, you know what? I And let's just cross cut a bunch of you fools. Alright, and you have cross cuts to. yeah. Uh, boom. Die, please. There we go. Did you underestimate us? Never stop learning. Gloria learned shell, which is boosted magic defense. Ooh, a Gaia shield. That sounds like it absorbs earth damage. Oh, it would make you overloaded, though. Damn. That's so good, though. That's so good. We want that. As soon as we turn you to Vanguard, you're getting that. You're definitely getting that as soon as we turn you to a Vanguard. Um, excuse me? You're... Overloaded? I didn't realize. That's why your magic's doing no damage? Why? Oh, because you could equip more when you were... Yeah. Yeah, you could equip more shit. That's... I didn't realize you were overloaded. That was my bad. Yeah. Okay, well now you're good. Um, anything better I want to put on you? Nah, I think you're good with that. Yeah, I didn't realize you were overloaded. That's why your magic was doing so little. Alright, now let's save again. Bump. There we go. I realize I did not cycle my saves correctly this time, but oh well. Uh, the recording's good. I'm watching it right now, so assuming nothing horrible happens in post-production, I think we'll be fine. Alright, and I do remember there's that side quest over there that I haven't followed up on yet, but it's fine. We'll grab it towards the end. Folks, please welcome to the stage the incomparable talent that is Princess Gloria. Your Highness... I'd like to take this opportunity to play you something really special. My latest and greatest masterwork. It's about a lone hero who goes through hell after being chased from his homeland, but who finally, at long, long last, gets his chance at vengeance. So, Gloria, if you'd care to join me, you know the words, I'll teach you the tune. I will play no part in this farce, Orpheus. 
Oh, fast! This is no such thing. You know how long I've had to wait for this. It's nothing short of a tragedy. And a revenge tragedy at that. Ah, sweet, sweet retribution. What are you even talking about? Retribution for what, exactly? You were outed as a dirty wee embezzler and banished for your crimes. <laughs> You've only got yourself to blame for that, pal. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You don't know my life. You don't know how hard it's been. I'll never forget what was done to me. Never! And now, I've finally got my chance for revenge. I'm going to take it. And there's nothing anyone can do to stop me. So shut up and die! I mean, we'll see if there's nothing I can do to stop you. I feel like I'm probably going to be able to stop you, though. Do you have any idea what I've been through since I got kicked out of Musa? Drinking ditch water like an animal. Crawling around like an insect because I was too hungry to stand. Do you ever stop to think about that, princess? Can you even imagine it? Because I'll never forget it. That's for sure. Never. All that pain, all that suffering. That's what turned me into the portrait artist you see before you today. Okay, I had to slow down stuff there. Don't let them trick you. So, what are you casting on them? That sounds like some sort of protect thing. Okay, we'll put him at two speed at least. Stacking buffs and debuffs. Effects which temporarily boost attributes are known as buffs. Effects which affect them negatively are known as debuffs. Multiple buffs and debuffs can be used at once. Or limits, yeah. Most effects will expire after a set number of turns, so be sure to keep an eye on this, whether you're using them on enemies or allies. Okay, so... They have... much lower damage taken. Okay, but... We definitely want to kill them. Um, maybe not that many. Hmm. Let's see, well, we did have this, right? Yeah, an Atlatl. Let's throw one of those, and then let's give somebody one of these. Enjoy. It is funny that you summoned, like, friends, basically, because you need friends to be able to do anything here. Uh, so what else do we have? We also have a throwing stick. So let's go ahead and use that. And, uh, attack again. Yeah. Unfortunately, it missed. I didn't even realize- Oh my god, items could miss. Um, hmm. Any of you weak to earth? Doesn't appear so. Honestly, Elvis needs to guard, though. Default. And that regen some of your MP as well. Um, you, however... Okay, I want you to use an Earth Mallet, and I want you to cure Elvis. Because boy can he... Oh god, that did a lot of damage. Okay, Earth Mallet, very strong. Today we learned. Alright, so let's examine you. And then let's hit you with a Fyra. Or no, Poison. 9,000. You're weak to ice. Damn it. Poison missed. Exactly what I did not need. Okay, so I'm going to do a bunch of cross cuts on you. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Not yet, because we have not done our special attack with Seth yet. So let's go ahead and pop it now. Yeah. Anchors away. I'll give it all I got. Boom. This isn't over yet. Big old damage. Next, okay, now you're gonna attack next. Uh, maybe we should lay back on those. Let's do a blizz. Ooh, two blizzards, not a blizzara. We don't have blizzara yet. 
She are weak to water. Wait, did you counter magical damage by casting Lullaby on him? Hmm. What's the plan? Ah, uh, if only you had that attack that goes through their, um... Through their, uh, default. Let's just default right back. Guess it's my turn. Uh, nope, all of you default. Everyone just build up that VP. Ow. Okay, now... Whale. Beat the shit out of him. Big damage. That was like a thousand. Okay, and there you are defaulting. Um, let's see, what do we got here? What could you do now? Uh, you have some extra BP. Forage. Yeah, what do we get? Echo words? Teleport stone. That'll be useful. Uh, it looks like Gloria's probably gonna go next. Okay, our music's ended, unfortunately. He was defaulting, so I didn't really want to attack there. Might have still been a good idea to attack, but... Whatever. So, Gloria, you cast Cure, and then cast Protect on Elvis. Boy, does he need it. There we go. Good. Defaulting, and he had Protect up. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and crosscut you a bunch. Big damage. What did you expect? You called like four wild animals to help you, and all you can do is throw music at us, so. But it's nothing compared to the pain that burns inside my soul. I'm going to channel it all into my work. That's how masterpieces are born. Time for you to bow out, princess. There's only one starring role in this production. <laughs> okay. You're apparently pissed off at us. Um, I think it's too late in the battle to even attempt poison now, so we're not really gonna bother with that. But you can eat, uh, magical damage. Uh, you don't have a very good hit chance with those, huh? Um, yeah, I'm gonna need you to cure and cure. There we go. Ooh, big cure, too. 600. Counter white magic abilities with Lullaby. Oh, that's mean. Wow, Aster, you do not do a lot of damage. If you're not doing one of your things where you lower their attack or whatever, don't even bother, friend. Ow. 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 Okay, that hurt. That hurt. I'll admit that was pain. Okay, that also hurt. Um, Phoenix down on you, and then... Oh, boy. Uh, inner alchemy yourself? And... Uh... Yeah, sure, cross-cut him. Ooh. Boom, boom. Okay, how much... He has still has a fair amount of HP left. Alright. You're gonna you're just gonna have to cure the hell out of us, I think. So all Let me help you. How much does this heal? Okay, like two hundred and something. Oh, that's obnoxious. Okay, he didn't counter it this time though. Good. Alright, we're good again. That's the fault. Okay, good, good block, good block. Mm. Let's see, you have concentration right now. Uh, for a physical attack on the target that deals heavy damage has a slightly reduced chance of landing. I mean, we could try to do that. You know what, we'll give it one shot. Yeah, see, it's just 401 damage and it costs me HP, so... I don't particularly find them super useful. Um... Who's got a turn next? Okay, let's do that. Oh, you can't heal anybody. Well, you could use tree. Let's do that. Let's 
treat uh, Adele. And yeah, then... Yeah. Hit him with Blizzard. And our magical attacks with all no sleep. Okay. Well, Seth is back. Seth's looking pretty good, but no, you're defaulting. I don't want to... See, this is why that monk ability is very useful, because even though he's defaulting right now, I could just still wail on him if I had that psionic blast. Let's just keep locking. God, that hurts. 1,000 damage, mind you. Alright. You don't have a turn again for a bit. Um, I'm just going to cast Fyra on your ass, even though you're not weak to it. I think it'll do more damage. But first, before we do that, I do want to revive you. Just in case this does kill. Because I'm not really sure how much damage it's going to do. Boom. Okay, 329. That is better than using just Blizzard. Uh, okay, you're defaulting. How much HP do you have? 590? I think we can finish you off here. Adele's turn is next. I think we can do it. Alright, Adele, please. Yeah, you got this. Oh, you can't cast that. You can cast it once, but then we gotta do regular attacks. Ooh, that was actually pretty damn hard. Gloria learned raise. We got a bunch of JP. That was a pretty damn rough fight, actually, because I bumped it up to hard difficulty. But that's that's what I want. I want it to at least be that hard. That magic spell doing like a thousand damage though was just rough. And he kept throwing stones at us. Here we go, the bard asterisk. They want you to be the bard? Bards play a supporting role in combat through the use of stones, a single one of which can turn the tide of battle. Well, let me get to you. Reduce physical damage to multiple targets by 15% for three turns. Stats cannot be reduced. Okay, that's really good, actually. <laughs> Don't let them trick you. Reduce magical damage to multiple targets by 15% for three turns. Yeah, I mean, that'd be really good. I I'm thinking I would want my white mage to be my bard as well. So I would have my white mage be my bard, and they could just cast these things so we take reduced damage um, each turn. I think that's probably what I'll be going for with that. So Gloria will probably be our bard. But we'll see. Seriously denied my revenge? After all I've done? Oh, I hate my life. <laughs> That's just a funny line, just him saying, I hate my life. Oh, spare us. Now, where is the crystal? You think I'm just going to tell you? Yes, unless you'd prefer me to crush your throat so that you'd never be able to moan about how hard your life is again. Or sing, for that matter. I think if you crush this throat, he'd die. But maybe I'm wrong? It is funny that she says that while she's a monk, though, because it, I feel like it applies so much better with her being a monk, because she has, like, her hands up right now, like, I'm gonna karate chop your neck. Give it an old throat punch you. No, no, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Bernard has it. Something went wrong when he tried to use it, and he flooded the city. So it was him, after all. The fool. And where is it now? I... I I don't know! I, I don't know where he hid it! He only told me that he had it, I promise! So, after all your big talk, you basically don't know anything. It doesn't surprise me. I wouldn't tell this weasel my secrets either. Still, we know Bernard has it now at least. And, with another asterisk to boot. Ha <laughs> ha! What do we have here? Huh? Didn't expect this. <clears throat> the crowd's getting ugly, Lord Bernard. They're asking for you to put in a special guest appearance. Hmm. I'm very annoying of them. Deal with it, will you? I don't care how, just get it done. Your wish? 
is my command. So we can see memories of the asterisk wielders? Interesting. What was that? How did you... But no one could have... Whatever. It looks like it's now or never. <laughs> Smoke <What> bomb. <laughs> really? Ninja, vanish! <laughs> <laughs> Caught you napping? You should know by now I'm always ready to make a dramatic exit. Orpheus! Later, losers! Catch you on the flip side! I mean, what? You gonna go get now. another asterisk? My men will apprehend him soon enough. Yeah, what was he gonna do? Get another asterisk? I doubt it. I... I owe you all an apology. You certainly do, you jackass. Huh? My behavior towards you back at the palace was... unforgivable. Damn right it was. Having seen you fight, I realize now how blind I have been. Hey, no need to go overboard. We didn't take it personally. You are more kind to me than I deserve. Yup. Hey, Elvis. What was that we saw before? When your book glowed up like that? Well, I told you it reacts to asterisks, didn't I? The ones we got our hands on in Halcyonia helped me read a little more of the writing inside it. But this time, we seem to have been shown something from the past of the asterisk's previous owner instead. Yeah, so, interesting. We'll be able to see what happened in their past, but only very specific points that the book chooses to show to us, apparently. I, I've no idea why, though, so don't go asking me to conjure up visions at will. And I guess that means we're no wiser than we were before, right? But no less wise either, eh? And that's the whole point of traveling the world in search of knowledge. To keep putting the pieces together until it all finally makes sense. <sighs> I suppose you're right. But a bird? Is something the matter? Uh, no, <laughs> it's nothing. Was the bird watching? Oh, yes, the bird was watching us because that one girl's a Beastmaster, right? So I bet that person had a bird watching us eavesdropping to see the loss against Orpheus, and they're probably preparing for us to get back right now. I was thinking to myself, I was like, wait, what's important about a bird? And then I was like, oh yeah, Beastmaster. So that probably confirms what that character is. Plan for success. Now that you have more asterisks to play with, it's worth thinking about how this might affect your character development plans. You need to consider which main and sub-jobs will make the best combinations, what passive abilities you might want to bring into play, and you can find quick tips on all the jobs available under Menu, Travelog, Memories, Tutorials. Yeah. Alright, so... Yeah, we're looking rough. We're looking rough, we are. Um, let's go ahead and... Hit up the old teleport stone. Mm, and I suppose I could pop a tent out here and then wan and then wander back in there and go hit up that uh, side quest that we gotta complete too. Because it was here towards the beginning. Let's go outside. And I'll just use a tent really quickly. Pop back in there. Give this stupid dude his flask that doesn't know how to take his damn lunch with him. But not. That's a big old hunk of meat. How many times? Not while I'm eating. The smell of you is enough to turn a man's stomach. Oh, awful feral creature. But... I have just taken delivery of a simply divine vintage. Do not disturb me. Unless, that is, you wish to return to the squalor from which you came? Sorry. Fine clothes, fine music, and fine food and drink. What else does a man live for? How else can one revel in the glory of existence? Well, you're about to get your ass beat because she could have just warned you that we were on our way, but now we're just going to walk up with your pants down and kick your ass. I... I'm sorry. I feel sorry for Anna Hall, actually. She seems like she's finally an asterisk bearer that isn't straight up an asshole and is actually someone just being taken advantage of. So. Please don't send me away. No. Oh. Stop fretting, you foolish child. Shut up and do as I say, and all will be just as it should be. I choke. I hope you choke on whatever the fuck that meat is. Okay. There's a good girl. Anyway, I've finished now. Make your report. 
What are you talking about? The food's like right there. You haven't even eaten a bite. Orpheus attacked the princess as you ordered, but he was beaten and now he's run away. <laughs> Pathetic. I had thought his history with the royal nuisance would be sufficient to spur him on, but it seems not. Very well, you may leave. And what to do now, I wonder? I suppose the first order of business will be a little chat with a certain interested party. I'm still gonna go out on a limb and guess that guy's the thief class. Cause he has all the keys hanging from him, he has the bandana, he looks like a thief. So, I'm gonna guess that or the gambler class. Um, we'll see. Oop, party chat, I was actually trying to open the menu. He makes my skin crawl. I cannot stand that Orpheus guy. The way he speaks, even the way he moves, literally everything about him makes my skin crawl. So why the heck can't I stop his stupid face from popping up every time I try not to think about it? I get that too. Sometimes the more you try not to think about someone, the more you can't help it. Gah, and now it's happening again. I can literally see his stupid grin. It's horrible. You're probably still annoyed because he got away. I know I am. What's done is done. The matter is in Prince Castor's hands now. I suppose since he apologized, I don't have to call him Aster anymore. You knew Orpheus back in Musa, right, Gloria? Was he always such a pain? Well, he was certainly always a rather dramatic person, prone to exaggeration and so forth. Prone to narcissism and self-obsession, more like. Guessing he's always been nothing but talk, though, right? Like, as soon as the going gets tough, he falls to pieces? Precisely. No wonder he'd rather feel sorry for himself, having been caught stealing from your father, than face up to his actual problems. Yeah, there really isn't a single good thing about him, huh? Well, at least I know why he gets to me so badly now. Thanks, Gloria. Oh, um, of course. I'm not entirely sure how I helped exactly. You helped her realize that her hatred was well-placed, I guess. Alright, let's, uh, pop an old tent. Hope you guys aren't too tired of sleeping in a tent all the time. Hope it's not becoming too much of a problem. Alright, so... Weapon aptitudes, different weapon types, blah 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 Alright, so yeah, we want to go in here and follow up on this dude. Who was right there. I can't access from there. You're running away from me. Oh my god, I didn't mean to run into you. Ugh. Alright, you want a quick murder? Okay, we'll give you a quick murder. Um... Boom, 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 boom. Uh... You know what? Just cross-cut them. There we go. Murder. There it is! Adele learned Kaigong Wave. Is that the one? I think that might be the one that I want. Uh... Knuckle Brawler. No, I want the actual active abilities. Is that what I want? I think it is. For a physical attack that can penetrate a target's default defense. That is what we want. Good, 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 good. Very happy I was able to get that. Alright, so... Now the question becomes, how do we get over there to you again? Stupid jerk. Go away, you stupid elementals. How am I not a high enough level for you guys to just leave me alone? Ah, oh, there you are, with my flask. Finally, it's time for lunch. Or at least I would be if I had a fork. Can I eat with my hands, perhaps? You're gonna eat with your hands, and you're gonna like it. Look at me, but could you ask my... Oh, you jackass. Oh, I hate you. Oh, you just eat with your stupid hands, you idiot. I'm about to just take your shit back and leave you out here to starve, is what I'm about to do. And thirst to death. Right, you're pissing me off. Ugh, what a jackass. This better- this better get me something good, this stupid, like, little... And not- it's not exactly a fetch quest. Well, I mean, it is a fetch quest, but it's a multi-part fetch quest. I swear if I come back with cutlery and he's like, Oh, Josh, I can't wipe my face, I need a napkin, I'm just gonna, like... 
kick his ass right here. I'm gonna have Adele break his throat. Cause boy, you're getting on my nerves, sir. Just eat your stupid ass food. When I'm hungry, I'll eat. I don't, I don't, know, I don't have time to sit there and fight, figure out if I've got a fork or not. Just either soup it, like slurp that shit up, or just start using your hands. If you're trapped out in the middle of the desert without any way to eat it. Prince Castor, I have been looking for you everywhere. And now you have found me. Princess Gloria, I must insist that you refrain from taking the prince out of the city without notifying the relevant authorities. I was not taken anywhere, Dromed. I went of my own free will. Your Highness, Whilst I understand your desire to aid our nation's allies, might I remind you that Musa is no more. There is precious little benefit to be gained from spending your valuable time on lost causes. Whoa! Aren't you highborn people supposed to be polite? I mean, Castor definitely wasn't. I am simply stating the truth. Musa may be no more, Dromed, but our duty to Princess Gloria is very much alive and well. Her Highness and her friends will remain until such time as they have ascertained the truth of the situation regarding the crystal. And during that time, they will continue to be our honored guests. But, 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 uh, as you wish, Your Highness. Yeah, walk your old ass out, off, Dromed, all right? But please, I must beg you to conclude your dealings here quickly, Princess Gloria, for Savanon's sake. Oh, please. When your business here is done, Prince Custer, you are needed at the palace. Well, excuse me, Dromed. You know, just trying to uh, save the world and stop your entire town from being flooded in the process. Sorry I'm getting in your way. Ass. Can't say I'm feeling too welcome right now. Well, you can hardly blame them for not wanting the prince bogged down with our business. Uh, the king is missing after all. Their city is flooding. And we think we know how to stop it. <laughs> like, Dromit means well, I assure you. Forgive him. No. Oh, please. It's entirely understandable. I'm sure I would feel exactly the same in his position. You are too kind as ever, Your Highness. You know, I get the feeling that our distracting the prince isn't all that Dromit's worried about. It seems to me that he has another reason for wanting us out of the way. I cannot begin to imagine what else might be on his mind. But I will ask him, if it makes you feel better. For now, I must return to the palace. I will rejoin you when my business there is concluded. Being a prince must be hard work. Not that we have it easy, I guess. Aye, someone tells me Bernard's not going to be telling us where he's hidden this crystal without some arm twisting. Perhaps his companion can help us. The girl. Yeah. What was her name again? Annie Hell? Yes, that was it. Let's see if we can track her down. Alright, so Caster's left the party. And we can go over here and check some various things. Okay, one thing I want to do is check you. I do want to buy more tents. That is a must. And yeah, let's buy some more of these things as well because they've been pretty damn useful. Uh, purchase. Just want to buy like two of everything because yeah, they're pretty damn good these things. Uh, okay, that's enough. Uh, and what do we want to buy here, if anything? Hmm. Okay, so I could give uh you two mithril staves, couldn't I? What's its weight? Seven. Never mind. Never mind. I could not. I could not do such a thing. <laughs> okay. Well. And you're using an iron bow. I think I would rather give you the mithril staff, to be honest. Um. Yeah. It would definitely lower your weight quite a bit because that iron bow is heavy. Yeah. Let's get you a mithril staff, Gloria. And you're still good with your empty hands down at the bottom. And yeah, I'm going to stick you with daggers still. Okay, but mana robe. You're currently wearing a pilgrim's robe. Okay, caravan coat. Doublet. Eh. The 
Doublet would be good for you. And it'd make you less of a target. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the doublet for you. Okay, and can you wear ring mail yet? Nope. You cannot. At least I gotta switch your class around before we can do that, so... And I have a bunch of flame talismans now, don't I? I have three. I'll just keep them. Never know when you might need them. So, alright, we're good there. Got everything I wanted. Wait, how are we on Phoenix Downs, actually? Because I did use quite a fair bit in that fight. We're at, we got four, that's enough, I guess. We'll just chill with that, methinks. Alright, lady. Do you realize your uh, ass husband is a shit? Goodness me, how in the world did I manage to forget his fork? Here, we have a matching pair of them, you know. Now please take it to him as quickly as you can. I, I hate you. Everything okay, Adele? I'm fine. I just wish I could say the same about my shoes. Yeah, looks like they've seen better days. <laughs> you should get some new ones. I know. But these are... well... What's up with you two, eh? Why are you both staring at? Crikey! The stay of your shoes, Adele! They look like a hungry goblin's had a munch on them! Hey! Don't say that! These are the shoes you... Wait, I passed a wee footwear emporium not long back. You can get a new pair from there. Well, it's a classy place, though. I'll tell you what, I'll go on ahead and smooth the way. Hey! Wait! Elvis! Elvis! Why do you never listen? She said these are the ones you... I wonder if, like, Elvis bought those shoes for her, and that's why she likes them so much? Uh... Guys? I'm lost too, Seth. Looks like Adele's shoes have seen better days. They're... They've almost given up the ghost, in fact. Well, fear not. I know just the place to find a pair of brand spanking new ones. Alright, well, we'll follow up on that in a second. I gotta go take this guy's forks to him. Because he's a stupid jackass and I hate him. I very much, very much dislike this man. Ugh. <sighs> I, was, I should just take the forks over there and be like, your wife said to shove them up your ass, she's divorcing you. Afterwards, say just kidding, but I want to scare him a bit, you know? I want to scare him just a tad, and they have the nerve to say hurry up and bring him to him, like I'm not trekking across many miles of terrain, po possibly getting myself killed by monsters? To take your husband's forks to him? Oh my god. What assholes. I will not stop hating these people. Alright, so it was up. Oh, okay, no, that's a sandworm. We don't want to fight that. Yeah, you guys always want to fight. These elementals are obsessed with fighting me. Party's feeling brave. Okay. Yeah, let's just cross cut you all because I am in no mood. Um. Uh, sure. Murder the restless souls with your staff. Um, what are you guys weak to? Wind? Well, I don't really have wind, so... Eat fire, I guess? Yeah. Eat fire. We'll go have a rest at the end after. I don't care if you take half damage from it, I'm still gonna roast you alive anyway. There we go, level up. So Adele and Seth are definitely our highest levels. Although Elvis and Gloria really aren't that far behind. Alright, so... Then it was up here, and then... Yeah, here's your stupid ass. I swear if you say napkins. Thank you very much, friend. And now at least it's finally time to eat. Mmm, now that was worth the wait. My wife made me a nutritious, delicious packed lunch every single day. Without her love and support, I would be truly lost. Yeah, she's divorcing you. Why can I say this to you, a perfect stranger, and not to the woman herself? Please, you must go to her and tell her, her thank you and that I appreciate her greatly for all she's done. What about me, you asshole? She made the meal, but I'm the one that hiked across several miles to get it to you. Multiple times, mind you. <sighs> I just... Mm. Mm. 
No respect for my time whatsoever, these people. But I'm still really loving this game. I'm... I, I don't know, man. Maybe I just blindly love JRPGs, but I'm having a fantastic time. Even with doing shitty little fetch quests like this, I'm still just having fun doing it. And that just goes to show how much I really love the genre, I guess. That I can do something this tedious and be like, yes, Dob reduces the character's resistance to all elements and weapon types by one level. That seems pretty damn strong. All right, well, hello, your husband loves you. Ah, oh, you again. Forgive me once more for my scatterbrained ways. My poor husband shake his fist and curse my name. He did what? He asked me to tell you that he appreciates greatly all that I do for him. Tr truly? <laughs> oh, he can be such a sweetie when he wishes. I've decided tomorrow's packed lunch will include an extra helping of love and a flask and fork too. Tee <laughs> It was worth it for the large JP orb, I guess. So, who do we want to use that on? Um... That's yeah, up here. 750 JP? Oh god. That's a lot of JP. Well, I mean, I feel like it's pretty obvious what I'm going to use that on. Seth? <laughs> Okay, Seth learned Body Slam. Alright, now he only has one more Freelancer level, and he'll have maxed out Freelancer. So that is very good. And then I can finally put him on Vanguard, and he can just chill on that, which will be super amazing. Yep, yeah, but we need a lot of JP to finish it off, so it's still going to be quite a bit, but... Hey, it was worth it. So... Now I guess we're going to go take a rest at the inn, and then... Oh yeah, the inn was over here. We have- we have three minutes left. Nah, I'll finish that side quest up next time. This- this episode's already at 57 minutes, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go take a rest in the inn here, and then I'm immediately going to walk outside and save the game, so... I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Bravely Default 2, and I will see you next time.